Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day. And today I'm going to be showing you how I make my thumbnail look a little bit more cohesive. But before we get into the video, I would like to tell you thank you for being here and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Now, as you can see, I have my channel up in front of me and you're probably like Jasmine your thumbnails don't look that cohesive yes that is true but this is something I've been implementing to my main channel over the last couple of months if you notice over the last couple of months you've been seeing purple and white writing on my thumbnail and they tend to have a purple border and I've done that because I've decided my channel colors for my main channel is going to be purple and white and since I started my gaming channel and I was like I'm gonna do this cohesion theme of thumbnails right from the beginning so if we go over to my gaming channel and if you have not been over here and you're wondering where the story videos on my main channel have gone they have moved over to my gaming channel so if you noticed on my gaming channel it has a blue and white theme and all of the thumbnails look pretty cohesive because they have that phone style template with the background and then they have the blue and white writing so i'm gonna show you how i've done that and what i've done to do that i've used snapper Snappa is a create graphics website and I also believe if I'm not mistaken it's an app you can use on your phone. But I'm doing this from my computer because this is how I always use Snappa but I also believe you can use it from your phone. And I do use Snappa across my social media whether it's my Instagram stories, my Twitter posts, you can even use it for your Pinterest posts your ebook covers, your Facebook group covers, your profile pictures on certain things, your Twitch panels, your Twitch banners. You can even use it for your Zoom background since most of us are doing meetings from home. You can also create your YouTube channel art and your end screen for that as well if you would like me to show you how to make your channel art or your end screen using Snappa. I can also create those videos as well. And if you are a blogger or you run ads across your social media, they have socials and ad displays as well. Now, Snappa is not free. I do pay for Snappa myself, but you can use Snappa for free three times a month. If that's all you need it for, then there's no reason to pay for it. But you can also use other free websites like Canva and PicMonkey. I started out using PicMonkey and then I changed to Snappa and I do use Canva from time to time depending on the type of project that I am doing. So Snappa already knows the dimensions of a YouTube thumbnail and I just have to click on YouTube thumbnail to get the perfect size and you can also create a thumbnail from scratch or select the template to get started. Now for my gaming channel I do use a template and for my main channel sometimes I use a template and sometimes I create them directly from scratch. So if you would like me to also show you how I create a thumbnail from scratch, I can do that video as well. Just leave it down in the comment. Now we're gonna scroll down to the template I use for my gaming channel. I think it fits the purpose. That's why I tend to use this template and not create it from scratch because it fits the purpose that I'm using it. And they come out weekly or bi-weekly and each chapter is a different part until you complete the book. So that's why I've chosen this template to show you that this is an app that comes on your phone, your iPad, or whatever device you choose. And I like to show you what chapter it is, but I just like to say part instead of chapter. 
because it fits perfectly in the triangle. So to start off on our background, now when you click on background, there's a whole lot of pictures that pop up. And if you're searching for a specific picture, if you did not take one with your camera or take a screenshot from your video, you can just search the type of picture you're looking for. Like for example, Christmas. If, when I click on Christmas and then click search, there is a bunch of Christmas photos that pop up. And if I click on any one of them in about 30 seconds or so, it'll switch out the background. But for this particular thumbnail, I am going to upload a picture from my computer that I've already taken. So we're going to click upload images and we're going to scroll down to find the picture that I've already taken. It's this pretty garden picture and it'll just upload it directly from my computer to snap them, which is wonderful. It doesn't take that long. Once it gets to 100, it'll appear. Now we have our background photo and the garden now. Sometimes the internet moves a little bit slow, but now we have our garden picture. Now this triangle, as you can see right now, it's yellow, but I'm going to change it to white to fit the color scheme on my channel. And then now that the triangle is white, I'm also going to add a border to the triangle that is blue. Right now it says none on the border, but I like the solid border and I want it to be blue. Right now it says it's yellow and you barely can see it because it's out of one, but I'm gonna change it to the blue. And then I'm going to make the line about a five thickness. I think that is perfect of what I like. You can make it thicker. And if you make it thicker, it'll just cover up more of the triangle. But five is the perfect number for me in my preference. But you can do whatever you like. Now the phone, I'm going to change it to blue. So I, I want to do that as well while I'm thinking about it. And then where it says part one, I am going to first change the font. I do have a Pacific font that I use for my gaming channel which is called Engagement and then I'm gonna change the writing to blue and to help it stand out a little bit I'm gonna add a darker blue shadow. So like the second, the third blue in the blue row I'm going to have that as the darker shadow and I like to offset and blur my shadows you do not have to do this but I like to offset it as a three and then blur it as a two and it just helps the part pop out a little bit more so that's why I add the shadow but no shadow is perfectly fine now I'm also going to change where it says part one I'm going to make it say part three because this is for chapter three in the book. Now this Mario head that's inside the phone and mind you I used to love playing Super Mario Brothers when I was a kid. Game that I always found fun and relaxing. So we're gonna delete the Mario head and then we're gonna click on graphic and then we're gonna click on upload because I already have the picture uploaded in Snappa that I'm going to use for the graphic inside the phone. Now the phone the photo is a little bit bigger than the phone so I'm gonna shrink it down and then put it inside the phone like so but I'm gonna turn it so and then size it enough to where it fits in the phone. If it doesn't fit perfectly that's perfectly fine to me as long as it's as centered as I possibly can get it because I do like to have a little bit of the white inside of the phone showing. If it bothers you you can take the layer off or whatever you're doing and then put it back once you size the picture perfectly over the paper in the background but this works for me. Like I said I like a little bit of white showing and sometimes perfect is not attainable because nobody's perfect and nothing will ever be perfect. So that's why I don't mind the little bit of white showing. As long as it looks like the pictures inside the phone. For me, it's good. Now we're gonna add the title where it says Super Mario Brothers. I'm not gonna change the color of the title, but I am gonna change the font to the engagement font that I use. And there it is. And then I'm just going to type in the title. It moved over a little bit, so hold on. It's a little too close to the phone. It's a little harder sometimes when you click it over. So now we're just gonna click the inside 
to get rid of my Sims Super Mario Brothers. I'm gonna type in the uh, Royal Romance. And that it's all typed in, I am going to add a shadow this. We're gonna offset it at three and then blur it out to a two. And then we're gonna use the first blue that we've been using from the beginning to add the shadow. And it adding shadows just help the words and the writing stand out. But if you don't like shadows, don't add them. But I add I think adding a shadow adds a little bit more effect to the pictures. And then where it says gameplay, I usually leave gameplay in capital letters. But we're gonna make gameplay blue. We're gonna make it opposite of the top. We're gonna make sure it's in, still in the engagement font though. And then for the gameplay, we're gonna make their shadow white. But we're gonna offset it at a three like we've been doing and blurring at a two. And the last thing we're going to add is the border. But to add a border, you want to make sure your thumbnail looks the way you want it to look before you add the border. Because it'll be hard to add anything inside the thumbnail if you pre-add the border. It's capable of doing it, but it seems like when you're trying to click on things, you always click on the border instead of the thing you need to click on. So I add the border last. So to do that, I click on shape. I click on the rectangular shape and I just do my best to match this to the frame of the picture. And sometimes I don't always get this perfectly, but it's okay. And border is there. Now where it says border, I wanna make sure it's solid. It's already solid. And then it's at a 10, it's at the perfect complement. And then I just change it to blue. And see where it's sticking out over the edges, make it fit nicely. I'll just make sure you can see it. Then click it, look at it one more time. And my thumbnail is complete. The last thing I have to do is just down, click download. When you click download, you want to make sure you click web optimized JPEG and it'll make it sure that it's the resolution it needs to be to upload to your YouTube channel. So that's how I've made all my thumbnails cohesive on my gaming channel. And I do the same sort of thing to my main channel. It's just that I make those thumbnails from scratch. So like I said, if you want to see me make a thumbnail from scratch, Instead of using a tap nap a template, just let me know and I will do that. And remember, I'm always thinking of you, sending my love, and bye for now.